Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be um, showing you my February empty. The huge Dillard sack full of stuff. So we're going to get started because it's going to be a while. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, oh, and I can't believe I didn't pull this out already. This I'm so excited that I've actually finished because um, this is the first time ever that I've been able to finish any type of body lotion, where it be a body lotion, a butter, or whatever it may be. Um, I start them, I'll use them for a while, and then I just put them away. I don't like the way they feel don't think they moisturize or whatever the case may be. A lot of times it's because I put them on and they make me feel sticky or like I'm suffocating. With the exception of this, and this is the um, the Bliss Body Butter. I'm going to have to do it this way because I cut it so I could get everything out. And it's the Maximum Moisture Cream in the Vanilla Bergamot Scent. And I absolutely loved this. I started using this in the beginning of January, I do believe. And yeah, and it wasn't like it was a burden or a, I had to force myself to use it. I actually looked forward to using this every night um, after I had my bath and everything before going to bed. I liked it because it didn't make me feel sticky. I didn't feel like I was suffocating. I could put it on. It absorbed into my skin very nicely. Um, didn't have to wait around for it to dry. Um, would put it on and then you know take my, my medication that I take at night and then maybe my vitamin or something like that before I would get into bed. And it was perfect. I loved it. So um, once I, gosh, if I can get through some of my other body butters that I have from Bath and Body and for the body shop. This would be the only thing that I will buy from this point forward. And I also really do enjoy the um, the shower gels. This brand shower gels also. But anyway, um, so yeah, I am so excited that I finally finished a lotion. I couldn't believe it. Anyway, so that was that one. And then I want to talk about my mask. So that way if we get um, run out of time. Um, I've covered these because I want to talk to you about them. Um, several masks I have finished. Um, this little sample here was the Glam Glow Youth Mud Tingle Exfoliate Treatment. I did have one of these and I did like this. And at some point in time, I would probably purchase this one. Um, I had purchased the, um, the Super Mad Mud Glam Glow Clearing Treatment is this one here. I did use it all up and I really liked this in the beginning because you would put it on and you could actually see the oils and the impurities coming to the surface and kind of pulling out. But I think toward the end of this jar, I don't know, maybe it was drying out, not as potent because I would just put it on and it would just dry. That's all it would be. It would be just like a normal a mud mask, clay mask. It would just kind of dry. You didn't see anything being pulled out. So I don't know if it, after a while, it becomes ineffective. But anyway, um, at the beginning, I really did like it. It is expensive. Um, so if you want to get this, um, a lot of times people will put um, discount codes on their, their channels. So I would look for that or try Amazon as opposed to to paying full price for it or just go to Sephora whenever you go and get a sample of it and use it that way. Okay, then another mask that I had was this um, Garnier Intensive Treatment Sheet Mask and this was a vitamin C one. I got this at Walgreens and um, you left it on for like 10 minutes, 10 or 15 minutes. So it's be Instant Radiance plus 24 our hydration um, and it says that you really won't see results with this until you have used it um, at least three times a week for two weeks and I only bought I just bought a couple of them just to see how my skin would react to it but I would definitely go back and buy a couple more of these to use it for the full time to see how um, effective it is anyway 
Then I have a um, Coenzyme Q10 Collagen Essence Mask. This was purchased um, in a, a box of like four, I think, from Marshalls. And again, it's just a sheet mask that you just put on your skin and leave it for 20 minutes. I like the sheet mask because you don't have to worry about rinsing it off. You can just rub everything into your skin. And then I also did use, um, let's see how many is in here. Three, was there three in this package? Yeah. Yes, there's three of them in here and I did use these all up. This is the Forever Luminous Hydrating Facial Wrap with Honey and Collagen. I did use those. I got these at Marshall's. They were $3.99. Again, it was a sheet mask for hydration. Put it on for like 20 minutes and then take it off and then the remainder of the product you just rub into your face. Did like those and would repurchase. I also used one of my um, Korean masks that I got when I ordered off of um, LadyMossBeauty.com and this is a company that is in California. And this is the Premium Care Bio Medicuring Mask White Dressing. Um, and it's for um, an even skin tone, blotchiness, that type thing. And again, it was a sheet mask. You left it on for 20 minutes and then you would, um, again, rub the remaining product into your skin and then you could finish um, using your nighttime um, skincare regime that you normally would use. I did like this. I have several of these and um, I would recommend purchasing those also. And um, this, these masks, I'm kind of sitting on this, these masks are a little bit different than the masks that you buy here in the United States like Marshalls or Walgreens or Walmart, whatever the case may be. And I'll show that to you here in just a moment because I have another one that I used. This is the Coconut Bio Mask with Orange, and this is for brightening. And the reason why these are different is the mask itself is made out of the, the gel, the gelatinous lining of a coconut. They scoop that out of the coconut and they make a mask out of it. So when you open up your package, your mask, and I kept one of these, is, um, so if I can get it unfolded without messing it up. Okay, so this is, this is the one side of the mask. Your mask is going to have two of these, one on each side of it. And this is just the paper. And this is almost what these type of masks are made out of. It's just a paper sheet mask. But on these ones that I got from Korea, you have one of these on each side of your mask that you peel off. And the mask itself is kind of like, it's almost plasticky. I don't know if you can see. I don't know how, but this is the actual mask itself that you would use. It's really kind of rubbery. I don't know if you can tell the texture, but it is. It's like a really thin sheet of plastic with the product on and that you put on your face. And then when you peel these two off, off of each side, there's still product on this. So you could use these. You could lay them on your chest. Um, I know one person said that they were going to put one of each of these on their feet and do a mask on their feet. You could just do all kinds of different things with those. So they're very good and I really do like these better than the ones that I've purchased at Marshalls or Walgreens or Walmart or any place like that. And this is the ones that I ordered from, um, what was the name of that again? Uh, Lady Moss Beauty. And they were, the most expensive one was $4, and some of them were on sale for $2.50. So it wasn't too bad, and I did receive um, free shipping because I had ordered over $40 worth of mask. But anyway, I do recommend the different ones there that you can get from that company that are from um, Korea. Okay. Now then, I have another type of mask that I just ordered and just started using, and these are the Martini mask. These are a professional grade mask. Um, 
You just can't go onto the website and order. You do have to have a license or whatever the case may be to get these. Um, luckily, I do know somebody that's able to order these for me. I, and I wish I would have saved, saved one of these because where this one is, gosh, I should have left this over here. Where did it go? It's kind of like a plastic. This is more like a plastic. These are more like a a rubbery gel type consistency. They're really thick. And I was able to, there's, there's two pieces to it. It's not one piece. There's a bottom and a top. And I was able to use this mask three different times. Um, would put it on my face, use it for the 20, 30 minutes, would take it off, put it back into my package, and make sure the solution was up over it. And then I put it into a baggie and put it in my ice box and um, used it the next night, used it three nights in a row. So this was the Honey and Milk Collagen Mask by Martini. Absolutely love this. This was for... Um, hyperpigmentation, firmness, elasticity, um, brightens, moisturization, that type of thing. Um, you can go to a spa and this would be a add-on that you would have at a spa and it would cost you anywhere from $30 to $50 for an add-on mask like this. Um, I'm going to try and link below another video that I have up that's called Martini Mask Haul Plus Giveaway where I talk about the different types of martini masks that I ordered and that I have and plus I'm doing a giveaway on those. So if you would be interested in that, check out that video. If I can't get it linked, then it's just look under my name, Porter Peach, and it is called Martini Mask Haul Plus Giveaway. Anyway, love masking. Um, can't go without masking. My husband, he's like, oh my God. He goes, you got another one of those on your face? I'm like, yes, I do. I said, he's like, why do you do that? I said, because they feel good. I said, they, they make me feel like I'm doing something really good for my skin. I said, plus I think my skin is looking really, really good right now. He's like, okay. He goes, maybe I should use one of those. I'm like, okay, let's get one out. Let's slap one on your face too. So, he chickened out on me. He wouldn't do it, but I bet you here pretty soon I'll get him to use one of these. But anyway, and this, even after the three times of using it, there's still a lot of product in there. You can see it where I could have taken that out and rubbed it all over my chest or on my arms or just anywhere. But anyway, highly recommend the Martini Mask if you can get a hold of them. I know Tammy from Upsy's Beads 59, she'll sometimes do a, a blog sale. She did one just a few weeks ago. She had a thousand of them to sell and they sold out in 15 minutes. I tried to get some and unfortunately by the time she got to my email she had already sold out. So anyway, so I was glad I found a alternate source on able to get those. Love them. Okay, so we're going to start out with some more empties. And okay, a Makeup White Pons Exfoliating Renewal Wet Cleansing Talets with Citrus and Cucumber. Okay, if you've watched any of my empties videos, you know I usually have one, some type of Makeup White package in my empties. And I'm always like, eh, they're okay. Not my favorite. Not what I'm looking for. These I absolutely loved. I don't use these to clean makeup off my face. Um, I don't think any kind of Makeup White would actually get all the makeup off of your face and I could be wrong it's just not the way that I like to clean my face what I use these for is when I'm putting my makeup on I like to spot clean my brushes with these and the reason why I liked these so much is because of the fact that they were exfoliating so they had these little beads on one side of the sheet that was rough that you could rub your brush across and it kind of grabbed that makeup off your brush and deposit it onto the the towelette so yes, I will, at some point, I will be purchasing these. Um, I can't right now because I have at about another 10 things of makeup wipes that I need to use before I make another purchase. Anyway, but I do like those. My favorite so far. And this one was a, um, oh, what brand is this? These come from Big Lots. They were $2, the Apple. And they were the um, Cucumber. They were okay. 
don't like them as well as I like the pawns. <clears throat> My Amazing Grace um, bath and shower gel finished it. I will not repurchase this because um, if you've used the Amazing Grace perfume line for any length of time, um, you know that um, Philosophy sold to their company. And when they did, they sold the perfume line to a different company and they've changed the formulation. The smell's not the same. It doesn't last the same, blah, blah, blah. So I'm, I won't repurchase it. The original I loved and loved the smell of it, but the new, no, it's not as good. Bath and Body um, Nepa Autumn Blackberry Golden Sugar Scrub. And did cut that so I could get it completely out and I did like this I did like the scrub um, but I have discovered that products from Bath and Body especially the shower gels um, make my skin itch so once I've used up my products I will no longer be using Bath and Body for that reason um, I'll be going strictly to Bliss like the lotion or um, products from Lush and speaking of Lush, I finished up my Rose Jam Shower Gel. Oh, this smells so good. I got this from Christmas, for Christmas, from my son and his girlfriend. And I love it. Love it. He was down over the weekend. I was showing him my empty bottle. Like, I'm so sad. It's gone. He's like, you shouldn't have used it so fast. I'm like, I couldn't help it. I liked it. Oh, and it does. It smells so good. Love it. Um... So if you're familiar with Lush, and if you know when this comes back out, if you could let me know so I can um, put it on my calendar, because when it comes back out, I want to get a big bottle. Loved it. Oh, another um, makeup remover cloth. This is from e.l.f. There are 20 cloths in here. Now, these normally retail for $3. I don't think they're worth $3, especially since you're only getting 20 as opposed to maybe 30 or 60 but if you go on the elf website when they're having a sale at 50 percent off you can pay a dollar fifty for them and then that's a, that's a better price point um, so far these are probably my second favorite um, makeup remover wipe as opposed to the ponds I'm um, just for the fact that I think these stay very moist and they have a lot of makeup remover um, product in it and they seem to remove the makeup off of my brushes okay that would be even better if they had some kind of little exfoliating aspect to it but anyway I have probably like three more packages of those oh uh oh that's falling a Michael Todd's um, anti-aging facelift canoe new you um, lift cream I did finish this and it is gone. And the reason why I'm smelling it is because I had just opened up this morning my, my backup of this, my, my new bottle. And uh, first of all, these are sold on the Michael Todd website for $125. Don't pay $125 for this. Sign up for Living Social and you can always, well not always, but periodically they'll rent a Living Social deal on, on there where you can get a coupon code to go onto the Michael website and get this for $25. So definitely do that. Be looking for that. But anyway, my new one, when I opened it this morning, the smell is more of a floral scent, where this was more, reminded me more of um, Elmer's glue. And um, the consistency of that one seems to be a little bit different. Like it's more whipped where this one was more more sticky type anyway so we'll see if it works just as good as this one but I really did like this and would recommend it just not for $125 okay uh, my win spring gardenia green tea treatment oil did finish it and this I ordered off of QVC this is his um, spring edition this is not available all of the time and I don't know if he's going to come out again in the spring with the same scent but I love his his um, 
hair oil, hair ointments, his a hair oils. It's a treatment oil. It can be used for body, skin, bath, whatever. But I do love these. I would use it every day. Put a few drops in my hair. Would definitely recommend that, especially if you have dry, natural curly hair. I highly recommend the Wind products. Alrighty, I have a Bedhead Tiggy Style Shots High Definition Curls Conditioner that I finished. Um, I got this at TJ Maxx. Um, I would repurchase it again. I wouldn't pay full price if they had it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls again and I needed a conditioner, I would pick it up. It was for, um, for curly hair, so I did like that. The 40 Carats Retinol Rich Skin Care Carrot and Cream Cleanser. Finally finished that. I will not repurchase this. I didn't really care for it as far as the skin aspects of it. I liked the smell of it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. To me, the smell of it wasn't so much like carrot cake, but it was more like the smell of freshly fried and glazed donuts is what it smelled like to me. But anyway, but it seemed like every time I would use this, after a couple of days of using this, my face would break out as far as getting those cystic type bumps. So I would quit using it, they would go away, and then I'd go back to using it, and it seemed like every time I did that, I would get some type of bump on my skin. But I did finish it, and no, I will not repurchase. Oh, no, no. A Joy Coke Hay Pack Reconstruct Deep Penetrating Reconstructor Conditioner for Damaged Hair. Um, would repurchase this. Um, not in a full size. I would just get a small one and use it a couple times and then you're good to go. A Michael Todd Jehovah Charcoal Facial Scrub. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite scrub. Um, and it was a charcoal. It's the black and it had the little Jehovah. Je Jehovah? I feel like I'm saying Jehovah. But it's Jehovah. Um, little plastic spheres in there that would um, exfoliate and then they would kind of bust open and have a little bit of moisturization. It was okay. Um, not my favorite, not something that I'm just going to go out and repurchase. Um, this was in a kit. If it was to come in a kit that I of other products that I wanted, then I would, I would use it. Another um, conditioner, and this is the Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture Conditioner. And this little thing right here was $8. This is a 1.3 ounce. I bought this while I was out in Vegas because I didn't bring enough conditioner with me and had ran out. So I thought I would try this because there's a lot of good reviews on it. It's very expensive. A full bottle of it's like $30. I would not spend $3 on this. Um, the first day, my hair felt really soft and smooth and, you know, not tangly, not frizzy or anything. But the next day, the next day was like a giant frizz ball for my hair. I don't know what was in it that the first day it kept it smooth, but whatever it was, it evaporated out. By the next day, it was just like, it was horrible. So no, I would not recommend it at all, especially if you have curly hair. Trying to hurry. And then I have finished my Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Eye Cream. I really did like this. Um, I got this free at Sephora. They were doing a little promotion. If you spent X amount of money, you got this for free. Would be something I would consider purchasing. Um, but just right now, I have so many eye creams that there's no need for me to purchase an eye cream at this point. But if you're looking for one, this is a good one. And that's the Origins Plantation. Plant scription, not plantation. Plant scription, right there. Okay. Then my first aid beauty facial radiance pads. These exfoliate, tone, and brighten. So far, everything I have tried from this brand, the first aid brand, I have loved as far as the skincare line goes. These were just some little pads that you would just rub on your face. 
and one side was smooth one side had a little bit of bumps on it so it was a little bit um, had a texture so it would kind of exfoliate definitely love these I have another um, container of them but it would be something I would definitely would want to keep in my skincare regime I'll give you a close-up of that definitely worth a try I got these in a kit back during um, the VIB sale and it was very well worth the money my miracle worker philosophy uh, miraculous anti-aging concentrate this is one that I've had for a while I didn't really see that big of a difference in my skin using this so it's not something I'm going to go out and purchase because I found I have found things that I think work better for my skin than this. But it does have like a pump on it and just a little gel there. So anyway, I did that. A uh, Wet n Wild um, Sugar Eyeshadow. And this was just a um, kind of like a white type eyeshadow that I've used for highlighting. Used it up. Would recommend that. I mean they're very inexpensive, a couple of dollars for that. Okay, I have a couple of perfumes that I finished. This is the Essay Lauder Sensuous. This was just a little sample bottle that I had that came in a kit. Um, it's not anything that I'm going to purchase. I, I don't really care for it. It was okay. but anyway and then this one is the Kiehl's um, original musk oil and it's this bottle here um, I did like this I do like musk oil but I won't repurchase this because my skin musk oil that I use I think smells 100 times better than this this was like $40 in the skin musk oil you can get it at Walgreens for $12 so but I, I used it. It was okay, but it's not going to be a repurchase. I am going to keep this little bottle though because I like it. I did finish my Milani um, eyebrow pencil, and this was in the color Natural Taupe. And it's completely gone. It has a little spoolie on it. To me, this is just as good as the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz. So if you're not wanting to spend the $20 on a, a pencil from Anastasia, try the Milani ones. Um, this is water resistant. It stayed on. Had no problems with it smudging or moving. Um, just really enjoyed that. It will be a repurchase, but just not that look, just not at this time because I have like four other eyebrow pencils that I need to use up. Finally finished my super um, B B Blablish Balm from Skin 79 with SPF 50. This is the Korean um, BB cream, and I love this. I really did, and I'm not going to repurchase just for the simple fact that when I ordered this, I ordered three other ones, but different ones, and um, so and this took me almost a year to use this up and I used it quite a bit I actually have a, one of the skin 79 the one that has the snail the snail serum stuff in it excretion in it I have that on today as my foundation and um, the only thing about these is they only come in one color um, and it's kind of like a grayish tint color but once you put it on and it oxidizes it kind of just melts into your skin you can put a setting powder on it to kind of adjust the color if you need to and also when you order these you do have to be careful and make sure that you don't get a fake because unfortunately they do have um, knockoffs on the web so just make sure that you order a legit one and there are all kinds of videos on YouTube that tell you how to um, determine if your product is a authentic skin 79 or if it's a fake anyway okay, we're almost done I have some mascaras and of course my holy grail I love this mascara is the L'Oreal voluminous carbon black this was in my um, yearly favorites um, I think this compares very very closely to the Mali volumizing uh, mascara so 
try that. Um, the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara. I like this one too. Um, I've not actually purchased these. They've always come in a kit. Then this one was the Too Faced Lash Injection Extreme Volume. Um, this was in a kit. I didn't like this at all. And so it's not something that I would recommend to purchase. And then the MAC Zoom Lash, a little sample. And I didn't care for that either, so I wouldn't I wouldn't try that either. But anyway. Okay, then a couple more samples that I want to talk about really quick was a Clinique Repair Wear Intensive Eye Cream. Did finish that. And again, you know, it's a really good eye cream. Um, I think there are better ones on the market than the Clinique one, but it's a good starting point. Um, I also did finish these little samples of the Algenist Retinol Firming and Lifting Serums. There was three of those, and this is a good serum. If you're looking, if you're on the market for a really good serum, I would definitely try and get a sample of this and try it. These samples came from Sephora. You can also order this line of um, skincare products on QVC. It's right there. And then these two products here. First of all, let me talk about this one. This is the more specific enzyme treatment peel. And this was the little bottle that I got from Sephora. This little container right here lasted probably three months, if not more. It's just a powder that you add water to it to activate it and then clean your face with it. Loved it so much that I have purchased the big size of it. Um, use it probably about three to four times a week on my skin of the morning time, and I absolutely positively love it. I highly recommend it. You're at Sephora, get you a sample of it and take it home and see if you like it just as well. The other product, and this is the last thing, is my Miracle 10 AHA Cream. And this was a um, exfoliating um, alpha hydroxy cream. Absolutely love this. I think this came in like a Ipsy bag or a birch box. Can't remember, but definitely something that I would consider purchasing. Um, Forewarned, this does have a bite to it. It does sting a little bit when you first put it on because of the um, alpha hydroxies. But it doesn't last very long, a few minutes, and then you're good to go. Would highly recommend it. Anyway, that is it for my February empties. Went through quite a bit of stuff. And um, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to check out the video on the uh, martini mask in the giveaway. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.